Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be working with big reactors. Alright, so let's get started. We'll check out our achievement book, and here you see it says create a passively cooled reactor from Big Reactors mod. And then we got a bunch of other Big Reactor related items to check off. So we need to get a basis, uh, just start off with a smaller reactor. Um, I usually start off uh, as soon as I get the resources with about a 3x3 three three reactor, but uh, I think we can get bigger. So we need a big reactor. So this is the mod right here. The main thing you need is Yellowrite ore, and I have gotten a lot of that through Memencio, or through the magical crops. And I see that it turns it into an ore. Um, I'm going to have to process a lot of those ores because I don't have them done yet. Um, but as you can see, it requires uh, one of these ingots, which this will produce two of those ingots uh, per nine uh, yellowrite essence, which is pretty nice. Then we're also going to eventually need uh, the ludicrite and plutonium and stuff like that later on. But the main thing we need is reactor casings, a reactor controller, uh, reactor control rods. We're gonna need a power tap to access the power, an access port to put uh, items in, like our uh, yellow ride. And then we're gonna need a reactor coolant port for later on, uh, whenever we start adding um, uh, turbines and stuff like that. Uh, reactor red net port, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Uh, computer port probably because I'm gonna try and automate this and then we have react of course reactor glass and then turbine glass is something separate and then reactor redstone port which I might actually well I'll probably have to use that as well to automate it to shut it on and off so there we go we have the basis down so what we need to do is create a bunch of uh, yellow right so as you can see I have tons of essence so what I'm gonna do is fill this up and see how many ore we get. Okay, so that's quite a lot. That's honestly, that is that is a lot. And we're gonna need this dust as well. So I'm gonna make a seven by seven reactor. And I think I'm gonna make it five tall. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'll put the reactor casings, fill the bottom in. Just like so. Go ahead and put our cells in. I'm gonna do them just like this. Perfect, and they will get the reactor control rod, or uh, yeah, reactor control rod on the top of those. This will be filled in with the glass. And we can put glass up on the front. Controller is going to go right here. We got our glass. All right, so our reactor is built. Now I need to get a access port for power. So what I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna actually tap the bottom. So I may tap the bottom. Let's see. right here and then put our reactor power tap right there in the bottom and then right here we will have a system that lets us access our stuff so we'll have this one be in outlet mode and this will be inlet mode if we take a look, 
we have a, a little bit of stuff going on here. We have the reactor controls. And we need to feed this with Eulorium. So let's go over here and get some Eulorium. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we still got quite a bit. Um, we need to fill the inside here with some sort of liquid. And I haven't decided what kind of liquid to use. Uh, first, I'm going to go ahead and throw some of this in here just to get it running. Just so we can see, now that's got Gilorium in there, it's filled up. Build up here and let's run this and see what kind of uh, power it produces. When we hit activate, okay, we'll see that the core heat is way high. It's using quite a bit of Gilorium per tick just to keep it running. And it's only generating so far. It's probably going to max out. So, it's getting up there about 2,000, 2,235 flux per tick. Yeah, right in that, right in that area. So I'm going to turn this off so it's not using too much, uh, too much of our, our Eulorium. We need to fill this with stuff. So, what are we going to fill it with? That is the question. Let's take a look at uh, something that we can use to get that fluid. So a magma crucible will get us, looks like the ender lily seeds would be a good thing. These do four buckets per one seed. So that's quite a bit. And then we have, of course, our ender pearls, which gives us, it'll take four Four of these to make one bucket worth. So let's go ahead and get us a magma crucible. Magma crucible, perfect. So now we have a magma crucible. So now we need a tank. Let's make this one. And let's see if we can't upgrade it to this. Okay, so we can get it reinforced. This will hold 128 millibuck. That's perfect. That's more than enough. Okay, and a chest. Let's get our chests and then item conduits. And we need liquid. This will probably be fine. All right, let's go down into our power station. Let's see if we can't set this up. Let's try our Ender Lily seeds first. Put those in there, and then they cook up. We can put some upgrades in here, but I don't think it's worth it right now. And we should get the five or four mil buckets. And we'll check here, and it says four mil buckets. Kind of hard to read, but it's there. Okay. So we'll just wait for this to do its thing. When that's done, I can actually wrench this portable tank and take it with me and we'll use it to fill up our big reactor. All right, so we'll hop in here, break this glass, lovely. I hope it doesn't permanently, good, it doesn't. And we'll start filling this up. So I'll place my thing here for now while I'm in here. Take my bucket, put it in one corner. Does this give us any negative effects? Yes, it does, so we gotta watch out. Okay, so I'll pop this back off again. Don't want any mishaps happening. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Does this cause us to teleport whenever we use it? Um, I'm gonna do my best to not touch anything. Like that. Oh, this is going to be difficult. <laughs>
All right, so now that we've got that done, let's test this bad boy out. Now that we have it cooled and fully filled up with Enderium, try it out. Already we've exceeded our power and we're doing a lot better on fuel. We're hitting 6,000, 6,017, 18. It's going up really fast. So we're setting at about six. And if I really wanted to increase that, I would just drop in another cell right in the middle and I can probably get a little bit more flux per tick. All right, let's check, let's check out our achievement book. Create a passively cooled reactor from Big Reactors mod. We have done that. Create an actively cooled reactor from Big Reactors mod. Okay, so that's a little bit different. But we're gonna have to create some turbines or a turbine. I think I'm gonna do it on top of this one. I'm do it on the or on one of the sides. Yeah, one of the sides. Probably this side since it's empty. Actually, I may do it from the back. It all depends. I don't know. We'll do that in a future episode. But right now, we are getting we are doing really good on power. Um, the power is at the bottom. If I tap it, be good to go. But uh, let's see what else we can check off. Produce 1,000 RF per tick. We've done that. Produce 10,000. Not there yet. So we've got a ways to go and then create the maximum size reactor. I can't even fathom doing that yet since it's a 30 by 30 by 46. There's no way. Not right now. Don't have the material. I mean, I have the materials. Don't have the, uh, the time to, to do that. But um, we will be pushing ahead... Uh, as of right now, this is good enough for me. Um, I've not really experimented much with using turbines. I'll definitely be learning, though, in this episode. Or not this episode, but in this series. And uh, I'll probably it'll probably be so good that I'll use it in further future series. But um, I got the uh, reactor set up. It's ready to go. You guys have learned how to do that as well with me. Um, if you guys have enjoyed this video... Please don't forget to click that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. And if you see next to the subscribe button, there's a little bell there. If you click that, it'll keep you notified whenever I release my, uh, release my future videos. So, as always, thanks for watching.